Hello and welcome to WFTV's Law Talk, your guide to understanding the law and how it impacts our community. We break down complicated legal topics for you as part of our vision to ensure legal access for all. I'm Q McCray alongside Jeff Harvey, who is the CEO of Community Legal Services. And together, we're here to bring you insights about the legal system and the services that support it. We talk with influential change makers and explore their approach to these important issues. So join us as we amplify the voices of those who are striving to make justice accessible for all. You're watching WFTV's Law Talk. Turning complex legal jargon into everyday talk. That's WFTV's Law Talk, sponsored by Community Legal Services. Well, I thought today would be a great opportunity to get to better know my co-host here, Jeff Harvey. Now, Jeff, we've spoken a little bit in the past, um, and I'm really taken by your story because you're a Central Florida native, right? That's correct. Yeah, Q, first of all, thanks for, for coming on the show and partnering with us on this. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so I, I grew up in Central Florida, uh, grade school, high school, and then left for a short time, college in the Army, and then have come back. And now you're back, and you've decided to kind of switch gears, right? Moving from a serviceman uh, to serving the people. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I spent 10 years on active duty, and um, that is very much a service-oriented profession. Right. Uh, mission-oriented profession and uh, I decided to go to the transition to the law and become a lawyer and all throughout law school it really kind of hit me that that I, I personally needed something that was mission and service oriented to continue and you know quite fittingly the law as a profession is is one of those things and what I think is really cool about uh, legal community legal services is that um, you're really trying to help everyone, right? Especially people who may not even know how to contact a lawyer in the first place. Yeah, sadly, 40% of Floridians can't afford legal assistance of some kind. My organization is currently equipped to handle that bottom 20%, so the, 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 the poorest of the poor. Mm -hmm. But then there's that, what they call the justice gap, the 20% to the 40% that really can't afford a lawyer, nor do they qualify for my assistance. And so we're, we're looking for ways to expand the resources available to that group, because oftentimes they're just one issue away from falling into the poverty. Right, and if I understand correctly, people come to you, they give you their, their problem, and then you help them, you and your team, mm -hmm. help them solve the problem. You find the resources that they may not even know about. We do, we do. We, we strive to find resources for them. And the way we kind of explain it to people is we don't actually provide any basic need, right? We don't provide food, shelter, safety, health care. We secure those, the rights to those, or the, the access to those. And so while we absolutely look to provide all of our clients with some sort of resource, you know, traditional nonprofit resource that may actually help them, for lack of a better word, get a fish or learn how to fish, we kind of use the analogy that we, we secure their rights to the pond. You, you know, it doesn't matter your, your scenario. If you actually don't have access to what it is that you need, you can, you can get a handout, but it's just not going to take you up very far. For sure. And for you at home, just so you know, when he says he's going to find the right people to help you out, Jeff is well connected, I've found <laughs> out. So, um, no, I think this is going to be great. I'm glad we're going to have this time together to, to you know, uh, help people better understand uh, legal services and, you know, potentially get them the help that they don't even know they need yet. One of the things I love about community legal services is that it's really a, a one shop, right? A one stop shop for all legal needs. And if you don't know what you need help with, you and your crew will, will help them out. Yeah, my, my firm has a thing we call a legal checkup. And uh, you may be calling out one particular issue, but not realize that there are three or four other issues either related to it or on their way. And so, you know, while we absolutely help with the issue that you're calling about, we also try to help identify some of these other issues that if you're, if you're either ready to address them now or you just want to know what the potential uh, triggers are for when they're going to become a problem are, we'll share that with you too. Uh, terrific. So can you give us like, an, 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 uh, an example of what someone might call you with and, and how you could potentially help them? Yeah, so I can tell you actually one of my, one of my old cases. Um, I had a, a lady who was about 76 years old. And she lived in a house that she had purchased herself. She spent her whole life kind of making money, babysitting. Mm -hmm. And um, she ran into some medical challenges and kind of in a moment of weakness needed help. And so she called her family and um, said, hey, can you help me out? And, and the daughter actually had her sign a contract that said, sign the house over to me and I'll move in with you and I'll take care of everything and I'll even take care of you until you die. She had a written contract that said this. Wow. Uh, so fast forward three months. Mom's out on the street, no place to live, and the house is torn up. Payments aren't being made. 
um, and I could go into more details, but it's just it, it was it was sad. Mm -hmm. And so a case like that, it took us about a year and a half um, to, to at least get the equity back mm -hmm. from the home that the mother had to begin with. And the challenge is, is how do you how do you ensure somebody in that situation gets what what they need, what they're entitled to, you know, what they potentially have worked for their whole life, and at the same time, get what they need tomorrow. Right. You know, I mean, f just having housing available for her that she could afford in that window was a challenge for us. Again, I, I love everything you stand for, but answer me this, why? Why make this switch? Why, why go from, you know, um, Mr., you know, uh, everyday legal lawyer to helping the community? Why focus there? So, Q, I, I think one of the interesting things is ask a law student why they went to law school, mm -hmm. and they're going to tell you they wanted to make a difference. Mm -hmm. I think at least 9 out of 10, if not 99 out of 100, are going to say something to that, that effect. Um, but sadly, because of the way the business is structured, you kind of get out, you've got student loans, you've got all of these other pressures, and you find yourself so far disconnected from your purpose. And so I was fortunate enough to find myself in a situation where I could actually stick with that purpose on why I went to law school and really why I work any of the work that I've done in my, in my life to, to impact the community. I think a lot of lawyers do um, still want to impact the community and they find ways to do that, uh, small ways and some in large ways. Mm -hmm. um, we offer pro bono services and so you know, one of the, 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 the resources we provide to the lawyer population is an opportunity to kind of get back in touch with that without upsetting your business and without putting you at risk and allowing you to kind of continue on the path you're on, but at the same time, not lose sight of why you, you transitioned into the law in the first place. Terrific, Jeff. Thank you very much for that. And thank you for allowing me to partner with you on what I think is an awesome show. And again, the WFTV Law Talk, we're here not just to talk about the legal issues, but make them a lot easier for you to understand at home. And if you or someone you know is in need of legal assistance, of course, reach out to Jeff and his crew over at CLS, or you can just go through the rest of our website here at WFTV.com slash legal. Till next time, thanks for watching WFTV's Law Talk. WFTV's Law Talk is sponsored by Community Legal Services.